everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise and I wanted to give you my early impressions of the Prada phone by LG. This is better known as model number LG P940 and this is a dual core Google Android phone running 2.3 gingerbread with the Prada user interface overlaid on top. Now that 1 GHz dual core processor is an OMAP 4430 and my early impressions are that it's a very good performer, it's very snappy to the touch and very responsive when you're moving between screens, absolutely no lag at all. Now touching on the interface, interface is very pleasing. If I just pop into applications you can see they carry through this white on black design through to the applications as well with custom icons for each one. It's only when you dive into some of the uh, sort of screens that you see the regular icons pop up which sort of spoils the effect a little bit but I'm sure that you could probably find download packs for icons maybe and replace these it would certainly be a good idea if they worked on doing that I also like the way they've organized this application screen I can pinch to collapse all of the various categories so that's really nice I also like these touch sensitive buttons down the bottom here they do disappear a little bit too quickly, but they give you access to the pop-up menus, also home, going back and searching the handset. Something else I've liked on my sort of early uh, views of this phone is the camera. Now the camera's 8 megapixels, if I just pop around the back, I've got 8 megapixel camera there, autofocus with LED flash, and it does perform pretty well. I've taken some photos here, I'll just pop into my gallery and show you. Let's go back to the very first one I took, which was just of the Angry Bird here. Very responsive on the pinch to zoom. A good amount of detail in these photos as well, and very accurate colour. If I pop on over to this one, which is just a little bit of a fun photo here. Good amount of detail again. Very quick to focus whilst taking photos. And then I wanted to show you this. This is sort of all of my little uh, figurines here. And then the next photo is as close as I could get with it focusing. So this is sort of all of the uh, little models and then this is not zoomed in but this is holding the camera closer until it wouldn't focus anymore. So this is the closest I could get still obtaining focus and a great amount of detail on this photo. Now one of the reasons you're seeing really nice photos as well is down to this screen. This is called an 800 nit, so I'm assuming they're saying 800 CDM square brightness. I'm not sure of the ratings for brightnesses, but 800 nit Nova Plus display. It's got an 800 by 480 resolution, 4.3 inches in size. And that really does give a nice bright image. Look at the whites on this one. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Very clean whites and a really bright and lovely display to look at. So they've done a really good job with the display on this phone. Now, something else I've sort of noticed with this so far is even things like the dialer, if I go into the dialer, they carry through this really nice design aspect through the whole user interface. Now, I'm not sure if some users will get bored of this very quickly, but it certainly does add a unique and very clean and simple design to things. I think it's very nice indeed. Two early stages for me to comment on battery life. I haven't really tested the phone yet, but for now it seems to be running really well. Uh, we've got eight gigabytes of internal storage capacity in here as well. You can add up to a 32 gigabyte micro SDHC card. In fact, if I just sleep the screen there and go around onto the back, I'll give you a little look underneath the battery cover. And it's just a plastic back with a nice texture design to it as well. I should mention that. And you just pull off the back like this to release the catches. This is the battery, nice large battery in here, 1540 milliamp hour battery. This is where your SIM card goes and this is where the micro SD card goes. And very easy to pop this back on. Just simply snap it back into place like so. Just while I'm on the back I'll just also show you we've got a nice speaker grill here, so nice size speaker. Round on this side completely clear and then round on this side we've got volume up and down. Along the bottom, just the microphone pickup. Looks like two contacts here as well, maybe for a docking station of some sort. 
Now around on the top here, we've got three and a half millimeter audio jack, quick access to the camera, a little sliding cover here which reveals the micro USB socket and also the sleep wake button on this corner here for sleeping and waking that screen up. So a very nice looking handset, very thin as well, ultra thin. I'm not even sure of the measurements on this, I should let you know how thin this is. This is actually 8.5 millimeters and it's not tapered in at all, that's 8.5 millimeters at the thickest point. Very, very sleek looking phone. So let's just wake this up one more time, give you a last look at this screen. Wow, this is a very nice phone. This is the Prada phone by LG, model LG P940. A big thank you to Clove Technology. You can check them out at clove.co.uk. You can pick this up from them for £429, and that's for a SIM-free unlocked version of this phone. £429 in the UK equates to around about $680 in the US. Well, thanks very much for watching. This has been Dave from Geekanoids, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>